We're learning more about how a family escaped a fire last night. It happened on Holliswood Drive in Hampton just before 8 o'clock. Yeah, officials say two people were taken to local trauma centers with life threatening injuries. Tonight on your side's Asia Tolliver is just back from the scene. And Asia, you talked with the victim's family. Yes, they tell me not only did the family lose everything in this fire, but that actually a third person is still in the hospital. They tell me Gerald Sanders and her mother, Mary Hunt, are both in induced comas right now. And Robert Hunt also has bad burns and is expected to be transferred to the burn unit soon. It's a rough time for their family, but they did smile when they found, when they found out how community members stepped in to help. The smoke was uh, too intense for him to make it up. A husband begging for help as his wife was trapped inside their home, going up in flames. That was the chaotic scene neighbor Jermaine Harris described seeing when she stepped outside. He was there, he was, he was calling out for help, he was trying to save his family and the loved ones that he had in the home. Harris says without hesitation, she, her family, and a few other community members sprang into action. She says while some people, like her mom, were knocking on doors, she helped attempt to put out the fire. There was a water hose nearby and we were trying to fight off the uh, smoke, the fire, whatever was going on inside so that we could make our way in. Um, but again, that was impossible because it was just it was just intense smoke coming out of the home. Harris says they couldn't get to 85 year old Mary Hunt. When firefighters arrived, they found Hunt on the second floor at the top of the stairs and Sanders on a nearby porch. Once they realized there was someone in there, uh, they were able to go in and bring her out and began to try to resuscitate her. Harris says Sanders was later helped by the paramedics after she indicated she had burns and needed oxygen. We just wanted to get them help. We've been living here and been neighbors for an extremely long time and we love them like family. So we wanted them to get out of the, the burning building. Now officials tell me the unit where the fire started and the one connected to it will be condemned. I'm told thanks to those fast acting neighbors, though the women next door were able to get out safely. The victim's family tells me at this time all they are asking for are prayers. Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.